What's up, everybody? I'm back at it. Uh, it's been a couple, been like a couple weeks since I posted a video, so I apologize about that. I had a lot of stuff going on, but we back. We got KFC just hit us with some fried chicken wings. Um, they come in Buffalo, they come in barbecue, and they come in Nashville hot. So we about to check them out. Let's just jump right into it. Can I have, um, can I have six of your buffalo wings? Um, six of the honey ones and six of the Nashville ones. Okay, so you want six of the buffalo, six Nashville, and six honey ones? Yes, please. Okay, and anything else for you today? Um, nope, that'd be it. All right, 1624 at the window, thank you. Thank you. Made it back. We double bagged it. Got an outside bag. We got a paper bag. That's pretty cool. They get an extra point for that, just in case if your your soft drip won't drip all over your car. I'm probably the only one that think of that type of stuff or care about that type of stuff. But all right, so there you go. You got your three. Let's open them up. So this is how the first one look. That smell like buffalo. Wings ain't tossed as, as wet as I would like them to be on that one, but it's all right. Let's see what this one. Oh, that's the Nashville hot one. I think. Yeah, I think that's the natural Howling. And I'm guessing this is the Honey Barbecue. Yeah, I can smell that. Yeah, I think that's the Honey Barbecue. So that's kind of interesting that they got the Nashville Hot one is like a dry rub. These wings, let's pick one up. They're kind of soft. So they're definitely not fried hard. Um, you can kind of see me squishing it. I feel like it's breaking apart right there. If I... Huh. All right. Let's get into what they taste like. You got the Buffalo, Nashville Hot, Honey Barbecue. Let's check it out. All right. So let's check it out. We'll start with the, uh, mm, I should probably start with the sweetest. So let's start with the honey barbecue. These wings, look at this wing. This wing is pretty small. I don't know if you can see it to the size of my hand, but this is a really small wing. Um, so I don't know if the camera picked up the price right, but the price was, you get six of them for uh, $5. So I got, what is this, 18 for around $15 before tax, which is not a bad price. That barbecue sauce is really good. The barbecue sauce is really good, but I prefer my wings fried hard, or at least, actually I'm not even gonna say I like them fried hard, because I, necessarily, I don't necessarily like them fried hard, but I like them to taste like a fried wing. These don't taste fried, or that one didn't at least. The barbecue sauce do have a little bit of a, um, a little heat behind it. It's a little, it's not spicy, but it has that tanginess that can be spicy, I guess you could say. So, if that was their mildest, that actually had more heat to it than a normal barbecue sauce. 
Uh, let's try this one. This is the Buffalo. We'll go up from there. Same consistency. It tastes like they might have been fried at one point. Like fried and then they maybe let them sit or they reheated them. Maybe they fried them like in the beginning of the day then they reheated them or something. Because you can just tell by the breading on it. See how the breading is coming off? Kind of like the wings, like the breading is just kind of coming off. And you can tell that, that at a place you get your wings fried fresh, that don't really happen. The buffalo sauce is good. Um, a little bit more heat than the, than the barbecue. So, that one, it tastes good, flavor is good. It's still just the consistency of the wings. That's not my favorite. If they would have used those sauces on like a wing stop wing or a buffalo wild wings wing, that would have been really good. Uh, let's try the Nashville hot. Now, this one. I don't know how deep I'll be able to get into on this one. Now, this one is fried harder. Let's see if, if I can show you. I'm using my watch to see what the camera sees, so don't mind me. But it's probably not going to focus, but you could tell it's a little harder. But you could see the same thing I was saying about the last one, how the skin is like not on the... You see how the skin is? Like the skin is kind of not attached to the to the meat. It's like whatever, however they cooked it. It's, it's a name for it, and I don't know what the name is called, but it's like they kind of cooked it and then reheated them almost. Or the way they battered it. It's not my it's not my favorite. I like it when the the skin is actually attached to the meat. Let's try it. And I don't know if I said this yet, but I might not be able to handle this. Hmm, not as hot as I thought it was gonna be. So that particular wing wasn't as hot as the um, the buffalo. This is supposed to be their hottest one. It wasn't as hot. Now, there are some in here that's fully drenched in, like you see the seasoning on this one? That one is probably gonna be really hot. And actually, the, the heat on this is starting to pick up now. It's like a delayed heat, but that's pretty good. I like the seasoning on it. That's really good. I'll buy them again, uh, or I'll buy that again. And the crispiness of this one came out better than these. These are more how I like it on the crispiness level. Um, well, compared to these ones. These ones are a little soft and kind of soggy. I won't say soggy because they're not wet. Like if you look at this one, it's not wet, but it's just that soft texture. It's not as crispy as I like it. I like my, my wings to be nice and crispy. Um, unless they're like a naked fried wing, but either way. Um, so what do I think when I buy them again? Um, if I'm in the mood for quick wings, maybe on a lunch break, not near a Buffalo Wild Wings, not near a Wingstop. I'm not the biggest fan of Wingstop. Uh, I did like their remixed flavor ones, but some of their basic flavors aren't just, aren't, they're not that good to me. But um, I would still probably take one of the Wingstop wings over these. Their Wingstop just has a better wing. Buffalo Wild Wings, I like Buffalo Wild Wings sauce, and they have better wings than these. Um, this probably be more compared to like a Pizza Hut type of wing, but I think pizza wings are baked and not fried, which I would have to do a, a A and B comparison to really judge the two. But as of right now, I would say, yeah, I would buy it, but it has to be in one of those positions where I'm around no other wing places, then I'll get it. The sauces are good. Um, 
I would just need them to, to I wonder if there's an option I can tell them to fry it hard next time and see if they come out a little different um, but since it's fast food you're driving through a drive through they had it ready in like two minutes I doubt that they're frying them right there on the spot so that might not be an option so um, yeah, I would get it again, but only under certain circumstances. If I had to rate it one to 10, I will probably give it like a six. I'll probably go a six. Not a special. It's most other wing places will probably be better than this, but it's still not bad. The sauce is what kind of help it out. These ones don't, it's not a wet sauce. It's a dry rub that's on it. And those, if I was going to get the unflavored ones, I didn't do the unflavored ones because they're unflavored. Um, so everybody kind of know what an unflavored wing tastes like, but, um, and if I was in the mood for something unflavored, I would probably go with this because this one seemed like it just has a seasoning on it and then you could put whatever sauce you want or dip it in whatever sauce you want. Um, if I'm going there on a lunch break just to pick up some, since I'm not too big on spicy, I will go with the honey barbecue, even though it does have a hint of spice in there. Um. But that's going to be my favorite, dipping that in ranch. That'll probably be really good. But that's where I'm going to leave it. I'll leave it at a six. And y'all let me know what y'all think. Y'all go ahead and try them out. Sorry, I'm moving the table and moving the camera. But y'all go ahead and try them out. Let me know what y'all think. And I'll be see y'all in the next one.